I want to ask you a bunch of questions. And I want to have them answered immediately, Mrs. AKB Bags. Hello, I brought Mr. AKB Bags back. And thanks for joining me. My name is Andrea and you're joining us in the Babe Cave. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> And today uh, is kind of special. He's got some purse questions and uh, other questions for me today that I haven't really reviewed. So it's kind of spontaneous questions. So this should be entertaining. <laughs> so and again, this is Mr. AKB Bags. Yes, he comments on my videos and he, he is that sweet. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> so... Whenever you want to begin. So I've always wanted to sit her down for a QA and a And throughout the YouTube experience, I've asked her a question here, a question there. But what a better format than this to just go ahead and drill down on all my questions and curiosities. First, I want to thank everybody for the well wishes the other day when my wife did her car vlog video. And I'm sure she'll post that somewhere down there again. I uh, appreciate everybody's uh, concern and thoughts and prayers. And should we jump right in on this? Question number one. Let's Question do it. Question number one. <laughs> when did you know that handbags would be a passion for you? I probably knew as a kid when my mom would dress me up for Easter and the gloves and the, the hat with the stockings and the pantyhose and the <laughs> fancy shoes and the... A little purse. Um, so I probably didn't enjoy the purses at that time unless it was probably for toys like my daughter <laughs> to put in there. But I think I knew, you know, high school, college, college for sure I noticed purses and my first love was coach. So I, I always got coach outlet bags because I was single, I owned a house, uh, had a dog, so I had to pay bills, so the boutique bags wasn't in the radar at that time at all. So I always, you know, liked my Coach Outlet bags, and I'll try to pop up a picture uh, I found on Facebook just the other day, and it was a, I'm sure an outlet bag, and it's red with the brown trim, and I, I know I had that one for a long time, so... I'll uh, pop that in here, but I, before YouTube, I enjoyed purses way back when. Even my friends, the when we'd hang out, are like, of course it's a coach. <laughs> so, that's my... And when she pops that picture up, uh, we were trying to locate it or find a name for it. I'm thinking that's one she would like to have back, so if anybody can help out and... Uh, finding what it is uh, when it came out I'm sure it's uh, you know like an old design that might be hard to find but if anybody can... all right sweetheart second question do you remember your first bag that was over a hundred dollars <sighs> no <laughs> <laughs> no I really don't <laughs> I'm assuming it was probably a coach right yeah, a lot of times since, like I said, I didn't have the money. You know, I would get Kohl's bags, which there's nothing wrong with twenty, thirty, forty dollar bags. You know, you, I've shown them on my channel. I, you know, I like what I like, but I do remember purchasing a Coach boutique bag, and it was two hundred, and we were first together um, at that time. I was like, ooh, two hundred dollars. That's a lot. That's a that was a lot. I considered it a lot then, you know, back in two thousand ten. You know, so typically I spent a hundred dollars on, or less back in the day. Coach Outlet was, you know, I could get a deal at Branson Outlet Store, and uh, they were seventy, eighty dollars. So a lot of mine were Coach Outlet bags. You remember the first bag I bought you that was over a hundred dollars. At the Coach Outlet store. Because <laughs> that's where we got it. Was it? I think it was the one with the orange in it. The little oh, digital the orange CDs one? or whatever you called it. Yeah. I believe it was this one. He picked this out for me. Because I couldn't decide on a bag. And 
I have still not gotten rid of this. I love this bag with the optic C's. Yeah, so he helped me pick this and I have never let it go. And I believe the receipt was like 70 or $80 for this bag. So it was perfect. So that was probably the first one. It wasn't over $100, but you kept that one. I did keep awesome. it, yeah. Well, all right, thank you. Next question. When did you know you would want to take this handbag passion of yours to a platform like YouTube? <laughs> Him, right there. He's the reason. <laughs> You're the reason I started YouTube. He knew that I've always bought, sold different purses, always had a place for purses. And when we were in a smaller house, I didn't take care of those purses as good because I didn't have the room. And now I have the babe cave. <laughs> so as the kids moved out and transitioning houses and I accumulated more bags and he's like, why don't you start a YouTube channel? I'm like, what? me <laughs> and so I started watching a ton of YouTube channels first in 2020 that's when I started watching YouTube I was like man this is cool and then you get reviews on different bags you're wanting to think about purchasing and I, I thought that I could review bags just the same so here I am two years later I started in May of 2021 or in my own channel not talking here I am demoing on the carpet <laughs> here I am and uh yeah so it's his fault it's your fault you know everybody has friends that uh you know when you ask them a question they're like well why don't you google it well in this house when somebody asks us something we always tell them just look on YouTube you can find us and you can like when he said you can find everything on YouTube he was not lying. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Everything. All right. Next question. What bag do you currently own out of all these here that you wish you'd never bought? Mm. Oh. None is an acceptable answer, too. If you can't see one. That usually if a purse doesn't work out for me, I usually sell them. Or lately I've traded. Or um, I also sell in a boutique um, so if I if it doesn't work out for me I mean I, I might return it like I've returned bags too if I don't like a bag and I haven't carried it and touched it for a long time and I wasn't really a fan of it to really begin with then it usually I just sell it <laughs> which is true <laughs> well I have some ideas and I think you have it listed but uh oh yeah i do have one that's listed that i bought because of the deal that it was and it was a coach reserve uh on coach outlet site and it is the coach ergo 33 i guess i didn't realize how big it was of a hobo and i'll show you yep it's this bag right here see how big it is it's giant it's super pretty. It's part of the 1941 collection. I mean, if you want a 1941 piece, this is a pretty natural color, is, is the name natural. Uh, and under here, it shows the little 1941 that it's uh, a Coach Originals is what it's called. I kind of wish I would have gotten the smaller one versus the 33 size, but if you're interested, it is listed for sale on Mercari and Poshmark. Get this bag before it's it gone. It has a giant zipper, too. <laughs> All right, next question. This is going to be a tough one. Did you ever consider calling the Babe Cave something else? Hmm. Uh, no, it all started with a sign that I'll point up here. It all started with that sign way up there, way up there, <laughs> that says Babe Cave and I got it at Home Goods Store. So no, I got that sign and from that point on, it, it this was known as the Babe Cave. 
And do you remember what video the Welcome to the Babe Cave finger swirl started in? It's actually, thanks for joining me in the Babe Cave. <laughs> I'm not sure how the finger twirl started, but <laughs> I just did it. And now it's like my signature move of a, a finger twirl. And I don't know why. And I usually don't forget. <laughs> so somehow that is my signature move now with when I say it. All right, now a really, really super hard question for you. So you're going to have to really think on this one. What type of bag, I'm talking size, materials, color, everything, if you could design it, what would it be and who would make it? Lately, it would be a smaller bag. And I like the ones where you can add it, like you could have a detachable chain. I would want it more of a east-west horizontal. I do like my Morgan bag by Coach, uh, the Mint and Surf. Everything about that uh, screams me. So I'd want some kind of art piece on it with multicolor because I love multicolor everything so and uh it would have to be leather and i think that i would pick brown with different shades of colors on it i don't know <laughs> but who would make it mm. honestly i kind of wish dooney would step outside the box and do some artist collaborations like coach uh, i think they're missing out on a little bit there like i feel like more of the younger crowd may buy Dooney if there was actually a collaboration like Coach does with some kind of different print. I know they did the Depenta, which I liked okay, but it it wasn't it wasn't for me. And I know that people like that print, but I just feel like if they did some artist collaborations or celebrity collaborations from time to time, that would be a good mix. But that's just my opinion. So I would like Dooney Florentine leather with multicolor, with a chain, and a crossbody. There, I said it. <laughs> okay. Good answer. I like it. <laughs> Very thorough. Okay, do you think it's weird that your husband, me, has learned so much about handbags from you? No. <laughs> learned a lot because of hearing me um, he also works in the other room during the week and that's when I usually do my videos but he's also promoting my my videos and channel on other platforms <laughs> so he kind of knows a little bit more than the average dude right <laughs> or <hub's> husband <laughs> because of this channel and uh, he knows kind of a little more about the leathers and he knows a little bit more about the companies themselves so no I don't think it's weird I think every husband should should learn if that's what your wife likes mm -hmm. then fellas it's important for you to show your wife and everybody else that you're listening so I think that's important uh, you know communication is important in a marriage and this is a passion of hers so if you um, are going to help or get involved at all in any kind of passion, especially if they take it to a platform like YouTube and decide they want to get on there and talk about things that they like. And, you know, and in this case, handbags and accessories and things like that. I mean, if you're listening, you're paying attention as you're paying attention, you can help come up with ideas too, if, if yes. asked. And, um, I didn't know there were so many nuances to handbags and, different types of leathers. I mean, obviously any other thing out there is gonna have a gazillion companies out there competing with each other, trying to put out the same kind of product or something similar to it, chasing each other. Um, but there really are a lot of differences that I didn't even understand. I mean, when you're a guy, you just look at a purse and you're like, a purse is a purse is a purse. Some are big, some are small, whatever. And it's not the case. It's There's so many little things that go into how these are made, where they're made, what they use, stitching, 
like accents, medals, buckles, chains, you know, straps. To, like I didn't know anything about like purse drop or. <laughs> so yeah, it's a it's a cool <laughs> hobby, and I'm still learning, and it's interesting. And even though I don't carry a handbag, I do have my own brief that she bought me for Valentine's Day, coach brief that I've gotten to use on our trip to Tulsa, Oklahoma, and it's cool. So Wait. I'll wear one. Oh, and I also have a wallet too that matches my brief that she got me. And so, you know, in a way I'm, you know, coach is coach. She loves coach. I have two pieces now and I carry that wallet everywhere and I have other wallets. I haven't switched out of it since I got it. So thanks again for that wallet and that brief. Okay, now this is about your videos. What video have you done up to this point? You would you say is your favorite handbag video? You know, I actually had fun with him and my daughter doing the Barbie video. Like, if you haven't watched that, it like, so fun. <laughs> it is so overacting, crazy, but it it was actually off the cuff. Like, it was fun. It we. We had fun doing that video, and that's probably a... I'm not an actress, and he's not an actor, and neither is my daughter, but it was just fun, and it was a little out of... a lot out of our comfort zone, <laughs> for sure. And I liked uh, saying, Lululemon. And hi, KB Barbie! <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. We didn't really have a big expectation of a gazillion views, but I think it was more for just the three of us to have fun and make it and just put it out there. So people could laugh with us mm -hmm. or laugh at us, whatever you want, as mm -hmm. long as you were entertained. But yeah. yeah, I have to agree with that one. That was an awesome. It was video. for entertainment, but I also showed, you know, my handbags at the same time. So I think that's probably one of my favorites so far. Final and most important question. Who's your biggest fan? <laughs> It's true. I am her biggest fan. <laughs> and I appreciate the support. If you don't have a support system doing this, it is not as fun. We bounce ideas off each other. I tell him an idea and see what he thinks. And then he sharpens it a little bit with a little extra that I didn't think of. And I like having him as my co-partner of this youtube journey too so <laughs> and i've got to dust off my photoshop skills i used to do photoshop mm -hmm. all the time back in the day when i was part of some things where i did t-shirts and flyers and banners and all kinds of stuff like that so it was nice to get back into it and kind of learn how this whole thumbnail game works and just try different things to see which works so if you've noticed a change in thumbnails Mostly driven by her ideas, but I just try to put my own spin on it with Photoshop. I'm not an artist, so about the only art I can even crank out is on Photoshop or doing graphic design stuff. So yeah. if you like them, uh, I hope they're going to get better. And it's fun doing it and uh, makes her happy. And yeah. she doesn't have to do it anymore, so she can focus more on editing and uh, mm -hmm. different ideas for all you all. And uh, I may be her biggest fan, but she does appreciate every single one of you that subscribes, mm -hmm. hits that like button hits that notification bell uh, for her new videos. Uh, I She talks about it all the time, you know, and I know they say it's kind of a cliche on these videos that they sit there and go, I appreciate you all. Thank you for subscribing. But she is very humble about it. She talks about it all day when you don't see her on video, how much she appreciates everybody stopping by and watching her videos and, and you know, all the comments. You know, she tries to comment and respond to everybody, but... You know, she loves all the comments and then all the other creators on here that has uh, been along and encouraged her and helped her and collabed with her and talked to her. That are, You're all her friends and uh, mm -hmm. she loves you dearly and I appreciate you guys all for taking good care of her. <laughs> thank you. Yes. Big, huge thank you. I couldn't do it without you. I couldn't do it without him. I mean, and like he said, he's now doing my thumbnails, which are amazing. <laughs> so if you need help. This guy. <laughs> so, like, is that the the final? That's the final. Now, do you have any questions for me? Yes. <laughs> What's your favorite part of me doing YouTube right now? Uh, 
I, I think it's that I've always known you're very creative. She was in marketing in college uh, with a big creative element to that marketing. Uh, it's nice to finally get her see her utilize uh, everything that she went to school and worked towards. It wasn't to work a nine to five job. It wasn't to work menial tasks. It wasn't anything like this. This is right up her alley. She gets to you know constantly innovate and create and think of new ideas and apply everything she learned. And then, you know, as, as the world turns, things change, things get new, things get fresh. So she's able to incorporate all those things with what she's learned in the past from college and her education, and everything like that. So I think it's my favorite part is just to get to see you take a passion that you like, that some of your friends knew about, and you got to take this out there and put it in front of everybody and, and share it with like-minded individuals that, that love doing the same thing as you. And, you know, some of the people that don't make videos are on there, are on there and they just, you know, they feel what you feel. They like what you like, you know, they agree with the things that you don't like. And sometimes they don't, you know, not everybody's going to agree on everything, but it's, true. it's been awesome to watch you go. I can't wait for another 10 years of you doing this and, and uh, blowing it Damn. up. And I hope we can put some t-shirts out soon. And, <laughs> you know, we got some things in the works as far as that goes, but, um, you know, she's she's just getting started, folks, and uh, thanks for being along for the ride. Yes. <laughs> well, that concludes our Q&A, mainly him asking me questions, so I hope you enjoyed this different kind of video, and we had fun, and I was surprised by some of the questions. He was surprised by some of my answers, <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for being on my video. <laughs> And thank you for joining us in the Babe Cave. The Babe Cave. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. And thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, what were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's a good answer. I didn't even know you were going to say that. Mm -mm. I do. <laughs>